Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this amazing leave in conditioner that you can add to your regimen for high growth, moisture, and thickness. So, if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now, if you're new here, my name is Vanessa. I make lots of DIY recipes for hair growth, maintenance, and all of that good stuff. So, if you're into this type of content, definitely consider joining us by clicking the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Now, let's hop right into the video. Now, to begin with, guys, you are going to need a little pan in which you are going to boil your ingredients. So, the first ingredient we're starting off with will be some brown flax seeds. I got this off Amazon, but you can pretty much find it um, anywhere, even in your grocery store, if you just look in the seeds aisle. Um, so, I'm using less than half a cup here but you can alter the quantities based on your preference guys now i'm also going in here with some ambrinu herbs this i got off ebay um but i'm pretty sure you can also find it on amazon if you don't um have it in your area so again this is probably about one up to two um tablespoons of ambrinu herb now the next one guys will be some fenugreek seeds so again, I will be using about the same quantity. So um, like I said, guys, feel free to order these quantities based on your preference. So essentially, after I combine all of them together, I'm now going to go in and just add in some water. So I'm using three cups of water or not cups, I mean three glasses of water for this. Um, just because I didn't want it to be like really, really thick. Um, but obviously if you want like a thicker gel then it's okay to use less essentially so you want to bring that to the boil until you know the water starts to thicken a little bit and looks a bit slimy essentially so that's when you turn your stove off and then you were just going to go ahead and strain it so this is what it looks like after it's been boiled um so i'm just going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot um, it just makes the process so much easier. Now, I'll tell you about the benefits of each one of these ingredients a little bit later on down the video. Um, so definitely make sure that you keep on watching. So first of all, I used just the regular sieve that I have at home. Um, but then I then noticed that the Ambrunu herbs actually had come out on the other side so i still had some debris in my mixture just like you can see here so i think it's better guys if you just use a weak cap straight away or a stocking cap just because it will save you the time and also the washing afterwards so essentially i had to go back and put it and pour it back on this um weak cap and it gave me a much cleaner um sort of mixture afterwards just like you can see here i had nothing left in my um in my conditioner essentially so just give it a gentle squeeze so you can get everything out and then you can get rid of the seeds afterwards or if you want you can keep it to use for your next diy and that's it it's really really nice and simple really quick yet very very effective um just like i said before guys don't forget to strain it while it's still hot it just makes the process a little bit easier that's all because it's a bit liquid as it is now but when it cools down it will be a uh, pretty much like a really uh, thick gel and if you imagine trying to strain a thick gel essentially it would be a bit harder right so that's why you need to strain it while it's hot so i'm just putting it in this um uh, mason jar just to store and also to apply to my hair now what's left behind guys i'm going to freeze and then defrost it and use it next time so super super convenient if you have a freezer at home so in this part of the video i'm just going to show you basically how i'm applying it but it's super simple just like you've seen me in my other videos um apply leave-in conditioners so essentially i always work on my hair sections and I'm just doing a bit of finger detangling here and then I'm just going to go ahead and then work this through my hair essentially and you do not need to um, spray your hair before using it because it's quite moisturizing on its own um, so you can just go ahead and apply it directly now you can also apply it to your scalp basically throughout the whole length of your hair 
and just make sure that everything is nice and saturated now just to get into the benefits of each one of these ingredients um, just because I think it's quite useful for you guys to know what each one of these can do for you so the first one that we used was flax seeds and flax seeds are rich in vitamin E which is great for both our hair and skin it is really really good on the scalp because it helps to reduce free radical damage it also helps to improve blood circulation um, around the scalp thus promote, uh, promoting high growth and slowing down hair breakage so pretty pretty good um, for hair growth in general now the next one we used was ambunu herbs and these contain saponin which gives it the ability to cleanse and is also quite effective as an antioxidant anti-inflammatory and also an emollient so it really helps to keep our hair nice and moisturized it makes our hair softer just like i said adds a beautiful shine to it gives us stronger hair thicker hair prevents dry scalp and lessen hair loss so super super amazing to add to your regimen then the next one or the final ingredient that we had was fenugreek seeds and fenugreek seeds slow down the ability of dht to attach to your hair follicles so this is a um a hormone that has been linked with hair loss so an animal study actually shown that um fenugreek oil essentially um help to increase hair thickness and growth so super super amazing to have in your diy so essentially just like you saw here guys after I worked this through my hair, I went in with an, a butter. It's one of my DIY butters that I had, um, that I have at home. So I'm just using this to seal the moisture in my hair, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a nice comb through just to um, detangle properly, essentially. And then look at how moisturized my hair is looking right now. It feels super, super nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and twist it. And then move on to the next section and repeat until it's done now if you do not have a butter maybe that you've made at home or you may have available maybe from the shop it's okay to use just olive oil or coconut oil to seal the moisture in your hair it works just fine Okay guys, in case you're wondering how often you should be using this, like I always say guys, twice a week is such a good point to start. Just because of the fact that moisturized hair doesn't break. Okay, so if your hair is dry all the time, it is going to break and over time you're not going to see any length retention and yeah and any sort of significant growth in general so it's super important that you keep your hair nice and moisturized now also because this contains ingredients that can help also with thickening the hair if it's used regularly you will certainly notice a difference in thickness and also a difference in hair length over time so that's why um, i will suggest that you consider adding this to your regimen now you can use this more than twice a week if you want to it just depends on your preference but two times a week is just a, a, a guide really so just listen to your hair as well and see how it feels and give it what you need at a particular time um so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching the video and if it did please please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also, don't forget to share the video with a friend, a family member that you believe could learn or benefit something from it. And also subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate it. And then I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.